Hello, and welcome to another RPD video. In this video, we'll be talking about the altered cast impression. The altered cast technique is not used in every case. It was originally developed in order to equalize differences in tooth tissue compressibility. However, it is often used to correct an inaccurate distal extension cast. Either way, record bases need to be attached to the distal extension segments of the framework, and a final impression is made of the distal extension area of the arch. Care must be taken to make sure pressure is only applied to the rest seat area of the framework. The distal extension area is then sectioned and the framework with the impression is seated. The distal area is then re-poured against the new impression. Let's take this clinical case as an example. An inaccuracy was detected with the distal extension component of this mandibular class 2 case. Record bases were made. The impression of the distal area was then made. The distal area was sectioned off the cast and re-poured into the new impression. Now, the same movement is seen on the cast as it is in the patient's mouth. Thus, the cast now accurately represents the patient and is considered correct. In order to make the framework stable again on the cast and in the mouth, a new resin stop is made using pattern resin. Upon checking the framework back in the mouth, we can clearly see that the patient now has a stable RPD that matches the stability on the cast. We hope this video was helpful and we'll see you again on the next RPD video.